I was approached last weekend at the farmer's market to make some pie stickers and so today we're going to walk through that and how I did that and hopefully it'll be a little bit of fun for you. I start off with an around object uh, which in this case is tape. It's the right size and then I have my circle stencil here that can help me center this heart that is in the middle of the pie. From the one large circle then I can kind of build off that and continue with my pie pan and my crust. You can see here I'm using a kneaded eraser to erase any dark marks. So I start with my paint. I'm using a combination of core watercolors and beam watercolors. And I'm just getting down the base layers here, and dropping in some paints and creating the edge of our pie pan. This really has some basic complementary colors in this painting. So I'm starting to give this dimension by darkening in areas. And of course we have to give this a shadow so we have a better idea of what this exactly is and it grounds our piece and you can see I'm doing a lot of layering here trying to give this dimension and showing where the lights coming from you can see I'm added salt here to give this texture and it will give this pie a little bit of that grittiness that uh, it has in the crust and I just keep layering in the colors so I'm using a combination of yellow ochre and a nice pumpkin color from beam as well as a little burnt sienna and a brown that I made and you can see I've I've added salt to this and I'm kind of painting around the salty areas I don't know that I always recommend this but I knew that it would give me the effect that I kind of needed. And of course, we don't want this pie to be exactly perfect, because I don't know if there is a pie that is perfect. We just want it to be golden brown, and we want to be able to smell the apple pie. It kind of makes me hungry for a piece of pie, I can tell you. There's nothing better than homemade pie. And of course, I'm going to paint this a nice complementary teal color to our orange and enhance our shadow a little bit. So now we're going to move into scanning this bad boy. I scanned it on my old trusty scanner here uh, at 400 dpi and here we get a little closer so you can see what my scanner is. It's really old. Next I'm printing out these stickers on my big printer and then I'm cutting them out with my Cricut. So I'm using the Cricut software here to create these stickers. And if you want to know more about my process for uh, my watercolor stickers here is a link to a video that goes into more detail and here you see the finished product of these stickers now I'm gonna make some waterproof stickers too but this gives you an idea of how they look thanks for tuning in I appreciate you being here I hope you learned something new and if you liked this video give me a thumbs up 
or share it with your friends. And if you want to see more of my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks to my Patreon patrons who help make this channel happen. Stay creative out there, and I will see you next time.